Super Bowl has sacked the 1983 series finale of MASH for the most watched program in television history. 106.5 million people tuned in to see New Orleans Saints defeat the Indianapolis Colts last night. Wayne Rogers starred as Trapper John on MASH and is now CEO of the investment firm Wayne Rogers and Company, and he joins me on the phone. Uh, Wayne, did you, uh, when you were watching the game, did you even think that perhaps uh, the record for your old television series may be coming down? Josh, I never even, I never thought about it, very honestly. You know, I, I was more interested, I, I like football, I played football, and I like football, so I was just watching the game. I, I wasn't paying any attention to how many people were watching or anything like that. But now that the record has fallen, do you feel a little melancholy or, you know, is it okay? No, not really. I'll tell you why. There is so much advertising leading up to the Super Bowl. If we had had that, uh, by the way, if anybody had that kind of advertising leading up to it and all of the hoopla that goes on before it, I mean, you know, there's hours and hours of television devoted to, to promoting the Super Bowl. If anybody had that, any, 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 you know, uh, program would go. By the way, you and I right, talking right now, if we had that kind of a boost, we'd go over the <laughs> It would be terrific. It would be terrific. Maybe we can talk to someone at Fox Business about that. Uh, you know, Wayne, TV in general, because, you know, you have a tremendous career. Your career goes back. You've been in front of the camera. You've represented other actors. The television, broadcast television right now, though, do you think the model is broken? Because even with all the advertising, it doesn't seem to capture the America's uh, imagination like it used to. Well, one of the reasons is there's so many channels. I mean, look, you and I are talking right now on a business channel that was launched, what, three years ago? And I, there are so many new channels. There's so many ways for people to get their information now. You can't think that broadcast television in the sense of the three networks is going to work anymore. No, it's a dead model. Also, this competition, as we all know, from games and from uh, the Internet and all of those things. You know, coming back, though, to this thing, this idea about cost, I mean, when, when you were talking previously about the cost of advertising on television and what, what makes these things cost so much, uh, I will tell you this, that, that Super Bowl is never going to earn what MASH earned, that's for sure, because there are no reruns for that Super Bowl. Nobody's going to be interested in that. And MASH reruns have been running for 30 years. You still get money from those? It's down to dollar ninety-eight now. I think it costs more to put the stamp on the letter than it does for me to get what's inside. Even though you weren't, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, you didn't feel the sort of pangs that, okay, we lost a record. You think any of your old uh, comrades on the set, uh, Alan Aldo and those guys, you think maybe they were just a little, little sad there? I don't think so because I don't think that, you know, records, as we've all said, it's a cliche, but records are meant to be broken and... Uh, we were lucky, and at the time that we did uh, MASH, you know, there weren't all of these uh, competing networks and things like that. So I, the fact that the show did as well as it did, it was, I was very excited about it, and I think it's terrific that it did. I'm also excited for those guys at the Super Bowl. But by the way, the next Super Bowl may outdo this one. You never know. That's true. That's true. Listen, while I have you on, the market's been getting battered here pretty good. What do you think? What do you make of this market? I, Charles, you know, I don't know. I'm a little up in that sense. I, I, I've always thought that, you know, that this printing of money that the government seems intent on doing was going to increase interest rates at some time. I just, I just cannot believe that the Fed and Timothy Geithner, who, as I said, seems like a nice young man but somewhat misguided, I don't know how they can continue to do this and have interest rates stay low, which I think is going to someday show itself in the market and uh, maybe it's premature but I, I do know this that in the study of a number of things for example the book to bill ratio right. in a number of high-tech businesses is very good right now so that tends to tell you that going forward some of these things that uh, that the market is not giving credit to is the fact that business is in fact good in some places well you know what I happen to believe in a business cycle too before I let you go Wayne just so you know as far as ratings of households, MASH still has the record at 60.2. Yesterday's Super Bowl, 45, so you guys are still the champ in one category, and you'll always be the champ with us. Thanks a lot, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Charles. All right.